everyone, welcome back. Today we are doing some green recipes for spring, which hopefully will get you in the mood for the warmer months ahead. They're really refreshing, really healthy, full of so many yummy plants, and I hope you enjoy. As usual, all the recipes are linked down below in the description on my website, so you can follow along with them there, and let's get straight into it. Our first recipe is an asparagus risotto. Really easy, just making risotto. We're gonna roast the asparagus. And then we're gonna put some pesto in there to make it really green and full of flavor and herbs. So it should be very, very easy. First, we're gonna chop up four shallots. I'm gonna put the oven on and we're gonna roast our asparagus. I'm gonna preheat this to 180. I would use the agar, we're having issues. It's getting fixed soon. So for now, we're gonna use the oven. We're gonna add in the onions and garlic, stir that until it's softened, and then we're gonna add in our rice, stir that through, and the key to risotto is adding in your vegetable stock bit by bit and stirring it as you go to make it really lovely and creamy, and then we'll do the pesto at the end. So just adding in the shallots and dropping them everywhere. <laughs> and we're gonna fry those, and then we'll add the garlic. Now I'm mincing in three cloves of garlic, adding in 250 grams of Arborio risotto rice. And we're just gonna stir that into the mixture. I've just mixed up around 750 ml of vegetable stock, which we're gonna add in slowly. I'm gonna turn it down to a gentle heat and start by adding about a quarter of the stock. Give it a good stir. And then basically all you do is add in a little bit at a time and keep stirring until the rice is cooked. So you basically wait until the liquid's absorbed and then you add more and repeat over and over again and take it easy, don't rush it. We're just gonna put them in a baking tray, drizzle with olive oil, oh I've seemed to run out, I'll get some more, and then season generously. these are ready to go now and we'll roast them for 10 to 15 minutes basically when the risotto is nearly done So our risotto is done, so now we're going to add in pesto, nutritional yeast, salt and pepper, some basil and lemon to add all the flavour and then we'll top it with our asparagus. The juice of a lemon, a handful of chopped basil, around a tablespoon or two of nutritional yeast, around two tablespoons of pesto, season with salt and pepper. a knob of butter and then give it a good old stir and make sure the heat's turned off. Oh, that smells so nice. Right, let's give this a whirl. Mm. Do you know what, apart from having to stand at the stove, at the hob, it's very easy. You wouldn't like this risotto, Roxy. Um, it's very easy, very effective, and I just used the um, vegan, what was the brand name of the pesto? Sackler. The vegan Sackler pesto. You can get pesto anywhere, or you could make your own pesto if you really wanted to. But it's just very refreshing. Isn't it, Rob? And very green and very, very hearty. So this recipe is a really yummy, like roasted, broccoli with tabula. It's full of flavor, full of lots of greens. We're gonna turn on our oven to preheat it so we can roast our broccoli with some garlic and onion, make our dressing and just throw it all together for a really refreshing meal for spring. I preheated the oven to 200 degrees and now we're gonna make our dressing with some yogurt, tahini, lemon and some seasoning. 150 ml of vegan yogurt and then we're gonna add in around two tablespoons of tahini the juice of a lemon, half a teaspoon of chili flakes, this is optional, if you don't like spicy food, leave it out, and then season with salt and pepper. We 
We're going to chop up our broccoli into florets ready for roasting. Four garlic cloves and one onion. I'm doing two because they're really small, but one onion, normal size, will do. A heaped teaspoon of ras al hanout and a drizzle of olive oil. And finally, give it a good old season. And then toss it all together to mix. And we're going to roast this in the oven for around 20 to 25, 20 to 25 minutes. <laughs> Do you want some food? Watch out, it's going to be hot. So I'm just going to wilt 200 grams of spinach in a frying pan with just a dash of water. Don't overcook it or anything, it's just to soften them. Adding a carton of green lentils. Those lentils were pre-cooked or you can cook 300 grams of dried lentils or around 440 grams of tinned lentils. This is a little bit less because it's in one of those little cartons but it'll work. I'm just going to finely chop some coriander and mint for lots of flavour. Now this is out the oven, I'm just going to put this into the bowl with the lentils and then the wilted spinach. This will wilt a little bit more as I mix it in with the roasted veg. And then the coriander and mint. And then we're going to toss this all together. Then I'm going to add a chopped green apple, some pomegranate seeds for some yummy colour and then Lots of yummy mixed seeds. This is pumpkin, linseed and hemp, I think. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Salt and pepper. Give it one final zhuzh and mix together. This is my kind of meal. There are so many vegetables in here. I would love to count. I'm gonna put on screen how many different fruit and veg there are in this one meal. So full of nutrients and health. Ah, oh, yum. Our last recipe is a yummy Thai green salad with a delicious spicy sesame sauce to go on top. Very fresh, very easy, and hopefully quite quick to make. We're gonna start by shredding up half of a white cabbage or one small cabbage. This was quite big, so I'm just cutting it in half. It was a pretty big cabbage, so I have halved it again. So just go by how much cabbage you would like. I'm using about that much, so it's about a quarter of a larger cabbage. So we're just going to make our spicy sauce, starting with around a centimetre of ginger. Two cloves of garlic, 50 grams of almond butter, 50 ml of fresh orange juice, the zest and juice of one lime, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of sesame oil, two tablespoons of maple syrup, half a teaspoon of sea salt, dash of sriracha to taste, just a squirt, and then blend. So I've just got 175 grams of instant rice noodles and these just need to go in some boiling water for a few minutes and then rinse them out with cold water afterwards and set them aside. One green pepper chopped thinly. One green chilli finely sliced. One green apple. A bunch of coriander. And a bunch 
bunch of spring onions. I'm just gonna add in the cold noodles and try and separate it a bit so it mixes through easier. And then add the sauce in to mix through. The smell was making my mouth water so much when we were taking pictures because it just took me back to Thailand. Like that dressing, oh my goodness. You could use that dressing for so many other things. You could toss it over some tofu and bake it or you could toss it over a salad or just have it as a dressing in general. Like it would make anything taste incredible. And this is so refreshing and just perfect for this time of year. Honestly, I'm making this. We made so much and it's so good for meal prep. I'm gonna make this all the time now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these recipes. Please let me know as always if you're gonna recreate them because I love to see it. Tag me on Instagram. And all of them are linked down below on my website for you to check out so you can recreate these yummy green recipes this spring. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.